Hi there, welcome to the short video demonstrating the mega zoom of the Canon SX60 point and shoot camera. Just a few clarifications before we start. Firstly, this video is a straightforward demo of the zoom on the Canon. For your information, this camera can zoom up to 65x with optical zoom, 130x using digital zoom plus technology and reach a maximum of 260x with standard digital zoom. This video does not intend to be a review of the camera or its features. This video is not a tutorial or guide on how to use a zoom on the Canon camera. So let's start with the first example. In this scene we have a large reptile resting on the bank of a river. The subject is approximately a few hundred feet away from the camera. And the camera has been mounted on a tripod for all of these photographs. This is a wide angle shot of the scene. Can you spot the subject in the frame? You get 5 seconds. If you haven't spotted the subject, relax. The Canon zoom is here to help. Let's zoom in and check out. This is the maximum zoom at 260x. If you so wish, you can count the scales on the back of the crocodile. But note that using digital zoom can degrade the quality of the image. Now on to the second example. In this scene, we have a large bird sitting high up on a tall tree. The subject is approximately a few hundred feet away from the camera. The camera has been mounted on a tripod. Here we have the wide angle shot of the scene. Can you spot the bird on the tall tree to the left? You again get 5 seconds. No worries if you haven't spotted it, this was a tough one. Let's zoom in and check out. This is the maximum zoom at 260x. You can easily capture the face of the bird if you wish to. Now for our third and final example. In this scene we have a small bird sitting on a bush. The subject is approximately less than a few hundred feet away from the camera. The camera has been mounted on a tripod. This is a wide angle shot of the scene. See if you can spot the bird in the center of the frame. I'll give you 5 seconds. Without doubt, this was the toughest one. In case you've managed to spot it, believe me, you have the eyes of a hawk. For the rest of us, let's zoom in and see for ourselves. This is a maximum zoom of the bird. You can easily see the finer details on the bird. There are some important points to be kept in mind when using a mega zoom. The first and most important point is camera shake. At long zoom ranges, even the slightest shake is magnified, such that if you aimed for the eye, you might get the tail and that too if you're lucky. How to reduce camera shake? You should have a good hand holding technique. At the longest zoom, your hand should be still, stone still, in order to get a good image. The best technique is to use a support for the camera. It could be a tripod, a bean bag, or any flat surface like a table or a wall. You can also make use of the self timer when clicking pictures with long zooms. This will minimize any camera shake caused by pressing the shutter button. The other point to be kept in mind is that digital zoom can reduce the quality of the image. Digital zoom uses interpolation to magnify an image. The effect of digital zooming is somewhat similar to that of cropping an image. The more you zoom, worse will be the quality of the image. Therefore, you need to take a call whether to be satisfied with the maximum optical zoom or get additional reach with the digital zoom. This decision will of course depend on the purpose of taking the photograph. 
In conclusion, let's take a look at some of the advantages of having a camera with mega zoom. Firstly, these cameras are lightweight and compact. They are easy to carry anywhere and everywhere. Secondly, they cover the entire range from wide angle to tele zoom in one compact camera. This can be a bone for casual photographers who do not need to carry heavy equipment around. Thirdly, they help in capturing distant objects, especially when these subjects cannot be approached easily either because the subjects are shy or the approach is risky. Lastly, the long zoom helps in capturing fine details on small subjects. This can prove to be very useful for birders and naturalists. The fine details can help them identify species and differentiate between subspecies. So that's it. Hopefully this video was useful. Thank you for watching. Adios.